Mm, well, hello there, Facebook. Good afternoon to you, to you, to you. It's been such a long time since I have actually been on my Facebook page. It feels like forever. I think my last live was last week. Um, and here we are at the moment. So I wanted to jump on here to kind of almost say, how are you? Hi, Bunny, how are you doing? And pretty much kind of ask you, you know, what are your intentions for this year so far? Where are you at? It is the 2nd of February. And I almost can't believe it that we are actually at February already. It was only January, only a few days ago. We were in January and we were thinking about, you know, the new year and it was December, it was Christmas and we were planning and preparing. And then it is February, the best month of the year. Now, for those of us who are very much into my space, you know that this month is my birthday. So February has this very beautiful essence and grace for me. It's the month in which I was born and call me bias, but February is the best month of the year. In fact, it's even better. My birthday falls on the 22nd of February, which for me is an amazing, amazing day. In fact, the best day of the year. I'm always grateful that my mom, you know, who could have done otherwise, chose to bring me into the world. And for that, I'm eternally grateful grateful. So what have you guys been up to lately? Um, it feels like forever since I've been here, Lord Jesus. It almost feels like I've been in hiding, but I'm not. I'm just really under the shadows, um, focusing on some really important, healthy uh, things and making better choices with my time and just working really relentlessly hard to manifest some things into my space. But I'm just so grateful to be here today. And I really wanted to ask the question, what are the intentions that you set for February? Because if you are not intentional about stuff, then they just pass you by. And I remember, I think it was in high school that I learned that if you plan to, if you don't plan, if you fail to plan, then plan to fail. Does that make sense? And I really realized that part of being successful, part of uh, doing anything that you want to achieve in this world, in this life, in your business, in your life, in your personal relationships, it is going to involve planning. It's going to involve intentionality. And unless you are very intentional about that which you desire, want, and need, it is never going to come into your lap. You have to step out there. You have to claim it. You have to own it. You have to really, truly manifest it into your own path. And so I'm intentional this year. I'm so intentional. One of the things that I'm really big on this year, and you may see that coming through a lot of what I do, a lot of what I speak about is bliss, is finding my joy, is finding my sweet spot and just really staying there. And that might include really letting some people go out of my life, letting some things go out of my life. So for example, um, you know, I had to, I have to analyze how much Facebook I do, how much time I spend here. Is it really totally bringing me enough joy and bliss? Do I need to be here three times a week or do I need to be here one time a week? And I had to make those kind of analysis for myself. And I decided that I show up when I show up and I'm not going to beat myself up about it because when I show up, it needs to make me happy. It needs to fill me with joy. I need to be vitalized and ready when I show up here. And sometimes I was not always showing up when I was at my highest self. So what are your intentions? Hi, Carol. What are your intentions for 2019? What are your intentions for this month? How were the intentions for, for January 2019? Now that January has passed and we are now in February, have you gotten to the place where you should be? What are you going to do differently? And I just want to provoke your spirit. I just want to provoke your mind. I just want to lay that seed and sow that seed in, in, in your mind very fresh so that you can start thinking about it and ask yourself questions about it. Am I really being intentional about my 2019? Am I manifesting and calling into alignment that which I need? So that's all I want to do. I've got nothing more to do than ask you what are the intentions for this year? 
what are the intentions for this month? Because check this out. You cannot realize your yearly intentions until you break them down into weeks and months and days. And that's one of the things that I know to be true, that in order for you to achieve all that you desire, it has to be segmented. It has to be compartmentalized. It has to be broken down into chunks and segments and months and weeks and days. So if you haven't yet done that for 2019, I kid you not, now is a good time to start. It's the best month of the year. It's my birth month. I'm going to be a year older, right? And that's okay. But I'm at a really good, joyous place this time of the year. Um, 2019 has been a great year for me. Um, I found my bliss. I found my sweet spot. I found that place of feeling happy and truly happy. Not money happy, materially happy. I'm in a place of bliss. I'm so happy. And I really want to just stay right here. And so... When you don't see me, it's because I am staying in my hot, uh, my happy spot. <laughs> Let me get my words right. Um, when you don't see me, because I'm working on that, those things that make me truly happy and joyful. And so I want to just implore and encourage and push you a little bit to find that space of intentionality, of asking yourself, what is it that you are going to do this year that is going to make it different? What is it that you're going to do this year that's going to make this year a year to truly be one that you show up at your highest self and that you are able to be the best version of you? And that can only happen when you truly, truly, truly decide to be intentional. So don't let February pass like January has passed and you're still there wondering what's happened. You know, you have to decide um, that you are going to become the master of your destiny, that you are going to start taking responsibility for your outcomes. And so often we are there and we blame everything else around us. We blame our family members, our partners, our children, our bosses. We blame time zone. We blame God. We blame all kinds of things for why things are not working the way they should. What we don't do is we don't look at ourselves and truly take responsibility and say, I let myself down. I was not the person I should have been. I was not showing up 100%. I was not giving my all to this. I was not being in alignment. And sometimes when you are out of alignment and you're out of that kind of season, you are never, ever going to be reaching your true potential. So before I leave you, I want to say this to you that nobody owes you anything. The world doesn't owe you anything. Nobody can bring into fruition that which you desire unless you are truly ready to do that for yourself. So as I leave you with this, think about 2017, 2018, 2019. Think about those three years and ask yourself, what am I going to do differently? How am I going to show up this month to make sure that even if January didn't show up the way I wanted it to do, I have the power today to shift the rest of the years. You have 11 months, 11 months left in this year to change your life. And if you're like me, bliss and joy are really big parts of my life change this year. What is yours? Ponder on that. If ever I can serve you, inbox me. I respond to your messages. But what are you going to do differently in 2019, February, to make sure the rest of the year is one that you truly reflect on and be happy? It's Dr. Ava Eager Brown, just provoking your thoughts, digging into your cranium, leaving a seed, and really hoping that you can shift 2019 starting today. Have a good weekend. God bless. And I'll speak to you later.